Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Many of you will have seen the recent news coming out of Turkey concerning Karahan Tepe, the sister site of the now world famous mind-boggling megalithic wonder of Gebekli Tepe. The latter site is known for its ornately carved T-shaped pillars, its enormous size and its truly ancient date of 11,500 to 10,000 or so years ago. Karahan Tepe has been known about for a number of years, it dates to a similar time period and maybe is much older according to some reports and it also has T-shaped pillars. But now we know there are also incredible human sculptures at the site. Karahan Tepe is situated in a region that's now designated Tastapella and covers an area of 124 miles or 200 kilometers from one end to the other. There are 12 main sites at Tastapella and 7 of these 12 are now being excavated. Turkey's culture and tourism minister formally introduced Karahan Tepe to the world for the first time at the end of September. The site is a 46 km drive from the city of San Liefa and was first discovered in 1997. So far, more than 250 T-shaped pillars have been found at the site, a number of which contain animal motifs, but it's the three-dimensional human sculptures and the abundance of stone human heads that are really capturing the imagination. A number of fantastic drone photographs have also been released that show the archaeological site after extensive excavation, and we can see clear similarities, yet also clear differences to Gebekli Tepe. Digging at the site only began in 2019, and this led to a major discovery of a building with a diameter of 75 feet or 23 meters, part of which is carved directly into the bedrock down to a depth of 18 feet or 5.5 meters. Just like Gebekli Tepe, Karahan Tepe was the work of many people, but built at a time when society was seemingly transitioning from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to Neolithic. It's known as the pre-pottery Neolithic and some argue over whether or not these Tepe sites are permanent settlements or centres within the landscape where people came together, whether for religious reasons, social occasions or something else. The sites may have started out as shelters that eventually became houses that eventually became villages. As humans banded together, organising and building settlements, the formative years of an early civilization. The human head sculptures are certainly impressive, especially because of their age, and one human sculpture is also seen carrying what looks like a leopard on its back. There was also a stela found that shows the human form. It's these various human depictions that really distinguish Karahan Tepe from Gebekli Tepe. But both sites show that stone carving and artistic techniques and abilities were clearly well developed in this very early Neolithic time and many of the examples from Karahan Tepe are now being displayed in San Liefa Archaeological Museum so we do have the chance to take a closer look at the incredible work of our ancient ancestors. The 12 sites of Tastapella should not be thought of independently but together. And, in my opinion, that's the only way we can understand the history of the people of this region. Eight universities from five different countries, as well as four international academies, institutes and museums, are currently working together to put the pieces back together. Tastapella is now the world's largest archaeological project. Turkish officials fully understand the importance of its heritage, especially with regards to tourism, with Gebekli Tepe already a tourism hotspot and Karahan Tepe having a planned opening in 2022. For me personally, I'm looking forward to reading the archaeological papers that are set to come out in the coming years, and the history of early human civilization will surely be rewritten. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.